Hi, welcome to episode one of the space exploration. I'm going to explore the mod pack. I'm completely new to this. You'll find down in the description the world seed I'm using and the mod list I'm using. So let's dive right into this. Space exploration is a mod which basically allows you to travel through space and uh, mine through, uh, well, mine through resources uh, uh, all over uh, the solar system and stuff like that. Sounds like super fun. But nevertheless, you still start on a alien barren rock and uh, the mod pack I'm using provides me with this uh, space wreckage at my starting point. So let's grab up this stuff. I'm not completely new. I uh, played like 20 minutes uh, on this mod pack to give me a quick overview about the things here. So as you can see, I'm grabbing up a few little this and that's uh, to begin my game with. And the most special parts here come from uh, the AAI Industries mod, which overhauls the, the early game progression in the means that um, we're going to hang around in the burner age way longer than usual. Getting to electricity is going to be quite a task um, with science packs involved and uh, whatnot. Other thing which is quite special to the AI, AI industries is uh, something I'm going to show in a sec. And there's a meteorite. Uh, meteorites are, uh, well, basically ore bundles dropping from the skies. I don't know if they're destroying my base, I'm afraid so. So uh, that's some different uh, topic for the future. Right now I'm just uh, grabbing up all these parts that fell from the sky. So, but I'm feel like we're done for now. Uh, there's some wreckage left. There's some more. So, um, seeing another scrap here and there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff actually still lying around. Okay. So, singular iron plates, not bad. I like that. And uh, now my inventory looks like this I own a burner mining drill. Awesome. Stone furnace. Awesome. Burner assembling machine. That's the new stuff. Burner lab. Also new stuff. So, this is my starting gear. Um, to build burner mining drills in this mod pack, you need motors and stone bricks. Motors are, well, you see, like an iron gear wheel with a twist. So, well, basically you're, you're making it out of three iron plates. So motors are, for now, making everything a little bit more expensive. But I do like the addition because motors are quite important in industries in general and um for now i'm going to have a quick glimpse around me this is a weird patch to start with but uh well, we're going to we're going to handle it the coal is uh, quite low but i'm pretty sure this is not going to be the uh last spot where i'm grabbing coal so i'm mining out some of these things here mainly to get some fuel out of the stones with the Alien Biomes pack, um, you know, there are a lot of different formations compared to the vanilla game, which are helping me through the start here. But uh, I do like this formation down here. There's only a little bit of everything in there, but uh, except for stones, there's a little bit of everything in there, you know. <laughs> for starting environments, it's pretty good. So uh, let's live here, here for a moment. Um, so first thing I'm going to invest into our bricks because uh, I already realized that um, I'm not having any um, oh, well, I'm do it out of wood um, because I'm not having any bricks. So this is going to be the first thing I want to start with. And of course, I want to have coal. But that's pretty... Uh, pretty clear isn't it so first steps will be like everywhere I'm having a few iron plates and I'm even having a burner assembling machine so I have to uh, think about what I want to uh, actually automate at the beginning this is quite useful to have a machine like the uh, the burner assembling machine at the beginning of the game so luxurious beginning okay so for now we're going to uh, start with our, with the usuals and, uh, well, just wondering what I should produce. 
So uh, in this mod, we also have stone tablets, which are well similar to iron plates, with the only twist that we can actually handcraft them. So I'd say uh, I'll, I want to have the uh, typical cool daisy chain uh, installation. Like this is uh, one of the most basic things I like to install. Oops. I uh, I don't want to mix uh, iron accidentally here. So let's uh, clear out this spot. There are things everywhere. I didn't expect that. Okay. So there's a little literal forest growing on the uh, mineral patch. How unfortunate for the forest because I need the wood at the beginning of the game. So all right. So this is going to work out better. So uh, this is the basic setup I like to use, and uh, let's let's keep produce producing bricks here. Um, no, I can't output like this, can I? I need uh, some of these boys outputting like that. I would be needing uh, inserters, but uh, as you can see, my logistics are quite limited at the moment. So the next thing should be uh, installing the burner lab and preparing for other parts. So now I have the resources to build more miners. And uh, I mean, so far, is this is uh, your, your basic vanilla experience. There's nothing special so far in this. We just do what we do always at the beginning of a game. Handcraft a lot, set up a few furnaces. The usual suspects of the early game. I do like the idea of the burner assembling machine, mainly because um, this gives me assembling machines way before I have uh, electricity available, and that's uh, that's a fun feeling to me. So I want to split the coal like this. There's wood in this furnace. I don't want to have wood in this furnace. Wood is valuable until I know that I can uh, mass produce it, produce it in this mod, which I don't know yet. So. I was very excited when I looked up for this mod uh, because um, maybe it might be still in an experimental phase like the uh, mod creator states, but after all, aren't all mods some experimental uh, projects? And uh, having the ability to travel between planets sounds so super awesome to me and uh, so much Factorio. Like, this is a sci-fi setting, isn't it? So I I'm, I'm really eager to check out the uh, the real sci-fi aspect, build a spaceship and uh, just explore and travel and do your do your thing. So, and you're all invited to join the show. This is going to be a quite long-term project, so uh, I I'm I think that I will be uh, doing this for quite a while, and because uh, overall we have to set up everything, like. Now the first parts will be like an, a normal vanilla experience. So I'm not going to explain as uh, too much in this uh, series. Like most of that is vanilla, and whatever is not vanilla, I'm going to share my thoughts with you, friends. But apart from that, I'm just trying to um, grow as quick as I can towards uh, the. Um, wait a sec! They run it. They ran out of gas. <laughs> Didn't know that's actually happening. Um, so I want to hit space as quick as possible. Long story short, I don't know how quick this will be in the end, but uh, that's what I want to do, at least. So smeltering a little bit of copper here as well to uh, keep producing. And I'm, I think like, I feel like we need more coal. Uh, miners here. So, um, <clears throat> what can we research here? Burner inserters uh, and the burner ins assembling machines. Here we could get the transport belts, and here we could get weapons. 
Uh, I'm voting for the weapons. I feel safer with weapons after all. This looks evil, doesn't it? Ow. Evil science. So, um, I'm going to produce these guys. And I'm already figuring that uh, motors are actually what I want to have. So, we're going to set up a little bit, a little something here. Um, but for this little something, I guess I'll need, um, I'll need some more technology first. My basic idea is to uh, set up a little motor uh, facility. But to achieve that, I'm going to need a few a few doodads in between. So let's check. And obviously, I'm needing stupendous amounts of coal. And uh, that's also the reason why I'm uh, researching um, so uh, quickly towards military, because. I'm burning stuff like a madman that has to attract biters quicker than usual. Like my whole early game economy is going to be to be based on uh, burners, so uh, I don't have ever if anything uh, working on uh, on electricity during the early phase of this mod pack. So I want some gun to defend my mining area. That's why I felt like this starting spot would be really nice. Um, I also like the, the, how it's made up, like, the only downside is, uh, not enough coal for the longer run, but, uh, even the iron part is, uh, the biggest amount, which is quite good, so, these guys are having enough fuel, so this is the phase of the game where I'm just, uh, running around and, uh, Dividing fuel for everybody. So let's drop these automation science packs. And I think after the military tech, the next step w uh, seems to me um, the assemblers. So, you know what? Since I'm running with burners, uh, burner inserters, anyways. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I thought. Oh, I can set up a new burner uh, lab. That's cool. I want to do that. Because one is just uh, really not enough. I don't want to over-optimize myself here. Because over-optimizing always ends in boredom. But, uh, well, I want to utilize the resources the game gave me at the beginning here a little bit harder. And... Uh, if I have those laboratories I can use long before uh, electricity is available, I want to do that. At least two of them. Maybe we're going to do more of that later, I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah. With the burner miners, I'll, I'll, I could also uh, put something on a belt there. But, uh, well, first off, let's research belts and inserters. These seem to be the most mandatory tasks to me. And apart from that, I have the urge to produce uh, gear wheels. Because that's what the world is made of. <laughs> gear wheels. <laughs> there we go. And uh, apart from that... I wanted to install another of these uh, constructions because I feel like I don't have enough iron output at this moment, but uh, I always feel like I don't have enough iron output during the early game phase of any Crestorio run, uh, Crestorio, Factorio run. I've played too much Crestorio lately, I know, I know, you don't need to tell me. So, basic automation on its way, and uh, there we have it. We need even motors for transport belts. These things are literally everywhere. So, um, wow. <laughs> That's quite surprising. 
didn't expect that. Alright, so before I have radar technology, I'm going to be quite clueless uh, where there's new uh, material or where not. But that's okay. So, let's, let's set up another. Let's bring another. I have more than enough cold production to, uh, to satisfy that. So let's drop them down here. This uh, has the nice side effect of dividing the coal field from the iron field a little bit. If I drop um, miners down here at the border of these, something which makes the future work a little bit easier. So let's go for this. And yeah, once that's done, I'm going to make myself some nice burner inserters. And then I'm going to put some iron plates on the belt that early, but uh, why not? It's, it's that useful to do, because this will make the uh, motor production a lot easier if I have uh, the if I have the plates already on a belt. It's quite necessary because um, I already have a multi-step uh, production chain basically which comes quite unexpected but not I'm not uh, I'm, I'm actually liking that so next step will be uh, real logistics because uh, belts without splitter splitters and underground belts are just uh, I, don't know. I don't feel alive without so let's do let's do a few units of belt first and uh, going to mine out a few of those rocks I want to have more bricks and then uh, it's going to be um, time to to think about base uh, building and stuff like that in the in the near future until then, I'm going to lead this out of here. Oh, let's mine out that rock too. And uh, I'm going to do a few burner inserters. I never ever would have thought that I would use burner inserters on my own volition, but here I am. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, I really think I need more coal uh, miners. I'm not sure if I really was uh, right about uh, having enough coal production now that I'm seeing how uh, much I'm actually needing here and using. So I'm going to uh, set up another uh, daisy chain complex here. There we go. Oh, and I want to produce myself some uh, submachine gun. That's something I really want. Okay, so um, we're we're getting we're getting closer to uh, setting up some real uh, early primitive things. So there we go. I'll need a few more burner inserters. I mean, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't want to set up a mall or something like that, but uh, just some uh, some motors and, uh, and stuff. I don't know. This feels so necessary to me. There we go. Oh, I forgot another burner inserter between these. All right, so this is a uh, slow working, uh, small scale production, but it is a slow working, small scale production. And uh, this will make the, um, the further production of um, of my buildings a lot easier. So, oops. Let's uh, 
give everybody more fuel. Man. The setup is so coal hungry. Okay. So my other thought was uh I'm going to well, let's replace those at uh, for starters, and I'm going to do something like that. Here we go. So my plan is to do a uh, to do a fused. Um, belt of copper and iron plates for starters um, because I think my factory can work with that quite decently so grabbing up those motors is uh, extremely useful for me and uh, well let's drop down some belts and I'm going to start using the first things for the hot bar. Okay. So let's uh, drag down a belt over here. And uh, with a little tea merger in a sec, I'm going to uh, I'm going to fuse these little buggers uh, together, and uh, I'm going to have. Oh, let's limit that. I'm going to have both uh, metals on one belt, or. Well, for now, I'm going to leave it like that because I don't really know what I want to have. So the next thing I know is I want to have automation science packs, but, uh, well, the mixed belt would work for that, wouldn't it? But uh, it would be even better if we had a mixed belt with copper and uh, iron gear wheels, it seems. So... Because I want to automate my uh, science a little bit more. Running around and uh, spreading uh, fuel oops, to everybody is uh, okay for me during the early game. Because I know it's not going to be forever. Um, so I think I should just expand my production here by a lot. Just uh, start the work of uh, separating this belt like as much as I can. So there are 10 units of iron ore between here. And that's already coal. Okay, nice. So I'm going to hand mine this. Uh, it looks a little bit silly, but. Uh, I just want to clean this space out <laughs> because I'm uh, there's going to be a furnace on top of that square forever now. Oh, well, not forever, but uh, for the time being. Okay, and it's the same thing here, and. I don't mind if we have to squiggle this around a little bit uh, more complicated, basically. But this ensures um, a larger iron plate production, and this is, to me, a very, very important thing during the early game to have a good. Uh, production of uh, iron plates. Alright. I don't have a clue how quick these bad boys uh, use up their uh,
their their fuel, but I have to replace those miners already. Okay, I'm going to put this like that, and uh, we're going to yeah, this this looks good. Okay, but I already can. I'm already noticing that there is a certain trend towards. Uh, towards me wanting uh, the um, radar technology and the electricity te technology as quick as possible because uh, it is quite noticeable that uh, this amount of coal here is just insufficient um, okay iron gear real science packs okay down this boy like here and that and that so let's check if I'm let's see if I'm wrong mm, I'm wrong okay so that won't work out like uh, like I wanted to so I'm going to make it differently a little bit more more easy than there we go I don't need a uh, super quick production of these things. I just need uh, them to get produced without uh, um, doing too much for, uh, for that. So here we go. Boom, done. Well. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like I want to have more of those buggers, somehow. Just, uh... Well, let's do it like this. This is by no means, uh, really efficient, but, uh... Well, there is a surplus of uh, gear wheels in there, so... Oh, I need fuel. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure that uh, the um, actual consumption of the... Uh, um, inserters is, well, reliant on the actual movement of these buggers, which means the more you use them, the faster they'll burn their, uh, fuel. Pretty sure it's working like that. So, I'm going to set up another, uh, red science, uh, pack factory here and I think that's going to be all it takes oh, wait, no 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 I need that so okay this is one of those uh, quirky uh, designs you actually don't really want to do this is exactly what it looks like when you're doing something you 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 actually don't want to do but you're still doing it because you're low on resources uh, a a typical budget build i would call it you know stop using my valuable wood maybe it ain't valuable but i don't care Okay. So this whole refueling business is a pain. But it's just the early game. Remember, it's just for the early game. Later, uh, we're going to have a giggle about the the olden times. 
when everything was actually coal, bar coal powered. Okay. So this is now working out awesome. And uh, all that's left is to insert the science. And I'm pretty soon going to uh, output these buggers um, towards the uh, laboratories where they get inserted automatically, but I need to research that first. <laughs> but I already figured out I want to have four of those guys to begin with. And then I want to have a factory at least for the transport belts, so that's another thing I need the splitters for. Alright. I'm going to go into this direction here and don't stop using my precious uh, stop <laughs> stop using my precious one can't even talk anymore okay there we go so for now I'm going to hand transport these It's not going to take, uh, it's not going to go like this any much longer. Okay. Well, not the worst production, but I'll need the, uh, the bottleneck mod. I really uh, want to have that. So, logistics are research. We're going to research turrets next. Because... Biters are just a question of time. Alright, let's grab some iron plates, and hey, 28 iron plates for one splitter, it's quite brutal, 20 for one underground belt, so iron costs are quite hefty, or am I mistaken here, so sand is one material this uh, mod likes to work with too, so that doesn't come too unexpected to me, honestly. Grab some motors, and uh, off we go. Yay, my first hotbar entries. So, the usual start, you know. Just uh, outputting these, um, these red science packs over here and uh, inputting them on the laboratories. Nothing too exciting. All right, that's that. Let's grab some fuel. And somehow I feel like my brass, uh, my copper smelters are offline. There are so little uh, copper plates coming uh, through here. I don't know why. Okay, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I want to give them some uh, adjacent space um, to do it like this. This is a very nice way to utilize uh, the items until the very last scrap of the belt. Okay, so that's done. Stone walls made out of stone bricks. Nothing new here. And uh, yeah. So with my newly found splitter splitter powers, I'm going to set up one more burner assembling machine. And then we're going to be quite finished with these horrible things. So let's bring up a little bit more coal into these buddies here. So I'm going to use, uh, yeah, why not like this? This is efficient. Okay. Alright. This, that. And here we go. My own transport belts. Behold. Um, last but not least, I want to have um, some inserters, iron sticks and motors. So, I'm going to use... Well, I'm going to do that a little bit differently than I thought. 
So the key here is I need another machine which is able to access that here. Okay. Yeah, let's use the splitter again. Why not? I feel like this should be the easiest way to achieve what I want to achieve. So... I'll need one more of those guys. Did I plan this to narrow now? I certainly don't hope so. So, iron sticks. Motors, iron sticks, awesome. Okay. This will work out. Just gotta work a little bit around the uh, output then, but apart from that, um, everything is working out exactly as intended. So, alright. One goes here and one, no, one goes there. Okay, now, now then, now everything works out as I want it to. Let's do it one stack here. These guys have more stacks, so, yeah. I think this is a good, uh, a good, uh, spot to, uh, start the series with. Um, I have my basic setup finished. This will uh, produce all the stuff I need to uh, expand further for now. It's a little bit squiggly and uh, pretty unexpandable because it's pretty compact in itself, but I like it. All right, friends, so leave a comment down below if you have something you on your mind for me. I'd like to hear from you. And uh, apart from that, support this series with your likes shares with your friends or even a subscription to my channel if you want to show, show me more support do whatever feels great for you i just hope you come back for the next episode as well when we go uh someday someday we'll hit space promise see you guys then bye bye